Believe it or not, the Brahmaputra is so vast that it is even visible from space. The river cuts Assam into two halves. Every year, Assam sees major floods, and you probably see that in news. Lives are lost, millions get displaced, villages, crops, and even basic infrastructure get destroyed. But what does Brahmaputra have to do with the Assam floods? A lot, thanks to geography. The Brahmaputra is both a lifeline and a threat to Assam. It is a huge river system of multiple channels and water bodies, crisscrossing large parts of the state. This should be good news, right? But no, it isn't. The glacial melt in summer coincides with the monsoon, intensifying downstream, causing the annual flooding. But this is a natural phenomenon for this region. There was a time when people welcomed the first flooding of the year, as it made lands more fertile. However, the excess flow of water becomes a problem when it brings along disaster. Successive governments in Assam have spent 30,000 crore over the last 60 years in building embankments along Brahmaputra. US civil engineer Charles Ellett Jr. cautioned in 19th century, embankments confined rivers and caused them to rise higher and flow faster. Ellett was ignored back then, but today, experts echo him. Take for example, Dibrugar, which has a massive embankment that protects it from flood water. But Patragaon, which lies where these embankments end, does not have that luxury. So when floods come, while these embankments protect the Brugar, it channels the flood water in greater volume and intensity towards Patragaon. While one is saved, the other is left to deal with a double whammy. That's when the flood becomes a disaster. So why build embankments then? Some say it's just politics rather than policy. Think about that. And what more? Landslides and faulty drainage have weakened these embankments. 80% of them are also poorly maintained. Here's a simple equation. Human factor plus climate change is equal to flood disaster. With encroachment of river banks, more and more people are living close to the river, risking their lives to floods. Rampant deforestation and hill cutting have only worsened the situation. Not to forget the impact of climate change on eastern Himalayas as glaciers melt faster. And what's the human and material cost? On an average, the flood kills 50 people every year. In 2012 alone, the floods cost Assam 3,200 crore. The state loses around 8,000 square kilometers of land to erosion due to flooding every year. And what about animals? It is said that the flooding is essential for the survival of Kaziranga National Park, world famous for its one-horned rhinos. The floods revitalize the grasslands. Earlier, the animals could simply move to higher ground within the park. But in 2019, as 90% of Kaziranga saw flooding, the water inundated every inch of the park, including the higher ground. Suddenly, the animals had nowhere to go. The number of animal deaths have been alarming. Did you know? Floods now kill more one-horned rhinos at Kaziranga than poachers. So, is there a solution? The Brahmaputra cannot be tamed. Flooding will become more intense in years to come. But how do we minimize the destruction? Himanshu Thakur suggests, information about flood forecasts must reach the affected villages in time. Strengthen only those embankments that are really needed. And do not build more embankments. Ban all construction on low-lying floodplains. Perhaps it's time we stop normalizing the yearly destruction and act, not react.